Hi there. Today we are going to learn how to make a WordPress website in 99 minutes. So we will cover everything step by step and leave absolutely nothing out. And most importantly, I'm going to cut the no frills, useless information and only provide you with what is necessary to make a WordPress website. Well, we will go through the tutorial, you will pick up the necessary skills and habits which will go a long way to making you a competent web developer. So as they say, teach a man to fish and he never goes hungry. So there are absolutely no prerequisites for learning what you will learn by watching this video. You don't have to be a coder or a computer science graduate. However, you will pick up the skills which most web developers already know. And you will be halfway there to being a web guy by the end of 99 minutes. So, and this 99 minute video will change the way you look at developing websites. Most importantly, you will learn only the absolute essentials. Now, the thing about making websites is uh, there are a lot of programming languages involved like HTML, CSS, JavaScript, PHP and Python. And most uh, university graduates learn this in a couple of semesters. But the thing about this is in university, the focus is on learning how to code and is not on actually doing the real world important things like learning how to register a dot com website or you know how to get hosting what are servers and how to upload your files online this is vital real world information which is left out of university education and this is mainly because you need a credit card to register a domain name and get hosting and most 18 year old university students do not have credit cards so you will learn how to register a domain name, get hosting, configure your DNS, manage your databases and all this may sound like mumbo jumbo right now but all it takes is just a couple of days to get used to these technologies. And of course I'm going to go step by step and I won't overload you with any technical terms. So you will learn only what you need to know. Okay, so first let us see a demo of what exactly we will be building today. Okay, so this is the WordPress website which I've created and I will take you step by step to creating a website just like this. Now, this website has uh, got things like a slider where you can uh, put your uh, corporate information and then it has got these icons which link to pages and now you will learn how to configure your sidebar, add Facebook plugins and you will learn how to customize your footer areas, add social icons and you will learn how to create contact forms and add Google Maps to your website and all this in under 99 minutes this is quite easy to learn and WordPress makes it easy by being a very simple to use user interface all right so next thing is what exactly is WordPress basically WordPress is a content management system a content management system is uh, something like Microsoft Word where you just uh, type in uh, your documents and create flowcharts and you do not need to write code. You never write code in Microsoft Word. Same way in WordPress you rarely have to write code to make a website. So for example let us go to one of our pages and see. Now WordPress lets you write all this information using a editor just like Microsoft Word and that will convert it into code. Now if we right click and view the page source, we see that this particular page, this particular page consists of all this code and this is generated by WordPress. You do not have to write a, even a single line of this code. And, and this is why WordPress is very important to learn. It's very easy to get started. Okay, now in order to have your own website, you need to register a domain name first. A domain name is something like www 
facebook.com so facebook.com is your domain name and you have to store all your files on something known as a server or a host now you will ask what exactly is a web host a web host is a web host or a web hosting provider is basically a server which stores all the files and databases which constitute your website and it's a server is just a technical term for an industrial computer whose purpose is to interact with other computers by responding to their requests for data so for example facebook stores all its data like profile pics wall posts albums etc and it stores it on its servers so when you click on your profile button your browser sends a request to the facebook server where your profile information is stored and it asks for your profile page and upon receiving this request the facebook server responds to your browser by sending it your profile page with all the data like your first post your profile info your albums etc and your browser will format the appearance and present it to you now facebook owns thousands of such servers which it places in the same room and calls it a data center now a web host or a hosting provider also owns many such servers in a data center and these servers stores thousands of websites including yours and if you want to have a website you have to rent space at some web host well alternatively you could convert a spare laptop or a computer into a server and save on the hosting fees but when you turn your computer off your website also shuts down it's pretty inconvenient well fortunately for us there are plenty of web hosts to choose from some are good some are awful but based on my experience the best web hosts are the one with excellent customer service you do not want to pay for a cheap host and then have to cluelessly run around trying to figure out how to add a subdomain and do the most basic of website maintenance tasks well so there is one web hosting provider which provides excellent customer service and at a cheap price and that is hostgator and these guys have been around for a long time since b back in the web 1.0 days and uh, the best part about hostgator is they have a 24/7 live chat service which is manned by web engineers who patiently solve even the most ridiculous of requests so from database maintenance to website recovery to very simple tasks like spoon feeding you the process of creating an email account are carried out by these customer service guys at hostgator and i have registered tens of domain names with hostgator and introduced many of my clients to them and in the past 4 years or something there has not been a single downtime issue okay now the first thing in the first process in getting a host in signing up with hostgator is to go to their website so let us do that right now so go over to your browser and open www.hostgator.com Okay, so this is the main Hostgator website, and uh, don't worry about anything. Just click on Web Hosting on the top left-hand side. Okay, now this page uh, displays the three plans which Hostgator has, which is the Hatchling plan, the Baby plan, and the Business plan. Uh, we are going to sign up for the Baby plan because the Baby plan offers the best bang for the buck. It lets you register unlimited domain names on one account. it gives you unlimited disk space and unlimited bandwidth which means that for a fixed price per month you do not have to pay for extra disk space so if your website goes viral your site will never go down and that is the best part about the baby plan and uh, the business plan is uh, overkill for right now it's overkill for uh, for beginners you don't you do not need stuff like a toll free number or private ssl etc and the hatchling plan is well too limited you know it just allows you to register a single domain name and i know most people would like to register more than one domain name okay so we are going to go for the baby plan and now even with before you click on order now you have to choose what you're going to pay per month so i usually go i always go for the monthly payment of 7.96 dollars per month this is us dollars Now this monthly payment offers me a lot of flexibility because the other plans which are 3 years, 2 years, 1 year and 6 months are all cumulative plans which means if I choose a 1 year plan I have to pay say uh 
12 months worth of hosting fees at one go. So I won't be paying 7.96, I will be paying 12 into 7.96, whatever that is, some $90 or something. So I am more comfortable with paying month by month. So even after three months, say you get bored of this whole website crap and you wanna cancel your hosting, you can just cancel without any strings attached. You won't lose any money and all you will have paid is three months of hosting. Okay, so from the drop down menu, click on monthly, $7.96 per month. And uh, depending on when you see the video, these prices would have changed, but never buy more than one or two dollars. Okay, so once you've chosen monthly, just click on order now. All right, now you will be taken to the second page, which is your order visit. Now, first thing is you are going to register a domain name, so keep this checked and you enter your domain name you know it could be anything you want it could be your name it could be your company's name it could be some event that you're creating so just enter anything you want so okay so once you enter your domain name uh, hostgator will tell you if it's available or not and uh, once you get this tick mark saying congratulations your domain name is available and has been added to your cart you move down uh, you ignore this for now leave this unchecked and uh, make sure that your uh, hosting package information is correct which is baby and billing cycle is one month at 7.96 dollars per month now enter a username which you want and a security pin which you remember and store it somewhere later and uh, make sure it's not one, two, three, four, five, six. That's too common. Now you enter your billing information, all your credit card information, and your email address. And enter your cell phone uh, numbers. Well, I'm just entering dummy information right now. So enter your home address, your full address. Do not just enter anything random and uh, fill in all this information including your zip code and uh, choose your country I am in Singapore so I will choose Singapore and uh, then you enter your credit card information enter your credit card number choose your expiration date enter your CVV code and move down okay now it says enter your billing account password so oh, okay it says there already exists an account with the email address you provided okay uh, if you have not registered with hostgator before you will not get this particular uh, information so I'm just going to change my email address and see what comes okay that goes away now hostgator add-ons okay you do not need any of these hosting add-ons so just uncheck this okay now once this is unchecked now comes the time to enter your coupon code it says snappy here and your total due is 20 20.91 dollars which is your package packet packing your uh, package fees for one month and the price for registering your domain name now instead of delete snappy and enter this particular coupon code which is cheap GTR 11 okay C H E A P G T R 11 and uh, this coupon code is also available on the blog post and below the video description so just enter it here and click on validate okay now you can see from twenty point nine one dollars it's come down to twelve point nine six dollars and uh, basically your fees for one month is waived off and uh, well this is pretty cool since well you get the first month for just one penny or one cent I don't know uh, okay so now you just click on I have read and agree to the terms of conditions and click on create account now since I have already created an account 
I will not do this now but you make sure you click on create account and you will take into you'll be taken to the next page in a couple of minutes which will which, which will just say thank you for creating an account with hostgator and most importantly it will send an email to the email address you entered over here with important information relating to your login details okay let's go over to my email okay you should receive an email something like this which says thank you for your order with hostgator and it gives you all the information you need to know into how to log in to your cPanel 